Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Today I am joined here with Utility Monk. He is an explorer in the ATN Discord community. Uh, he's going to be showing us today how to get on top of the Dark Mars Citadel in the Exile Reach, the starting zone for all World of Warcraft noob new players. <laughs> I say noob, but um, hey Monk, how you doing, man? It's going well. How about you? Good, good. Thanks for having me today. I thank you for your patience, by the way. Monk's been very patient with me. <laughs> He's been waiting for me to get to level 16 to show me how to do this. Um, and so do, do you mind if I show them how we got out and all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. I'll just have to... Um, what's it? I'll just jump and kill myself. Okay. Because this is a killable distance. Cool. So I'll just come back in and I'll show you that OB escape. Yeah, let's go for it. Thanks for having me today and showing me this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a pleasure. So, I mean, <clears throat> there is a guy, what's it? His name is Azro. Okay. And he he used a mage to, to be able to get to the very top. I, I couldn't understand how he did it, but um, he, he was able to actually get to the very top somehow and, you know, get to the very top of Exile's Reach just like I did. Through Dark Maul say it out. Ah, okay. And you know, I have to brag on Utility Monk here. I have to brag on you because you're like a starting zone enthusiast here. <laughs> <laughs> you like know all the ins and outs of Exile Reach. You, I know you've been experimenting with some other places as well, right? Of starting zones, and um, mm -hmm. so it's really cool to see someone specialize in that. So, what Monk's going to be doing is he's going to be getting in the corner now. Where we're currently at, just to show everybody. We are at the very last boss room after you defeat Gorgoth and the dragon. Um, there's a corner over here, as you can see where I'm at, uh, that you can actually jump up just slightly in the corner yep. here. Uh, it just may, takes a bit of jumping. Yeah, it may just take a minute for you to get. Um, as you can see here, I'm kind of struggling with it. I did have it earlier, <laughs> so it may take me a minute. But there's just one little piece of corner you can actually get on top. And once you do that... Uh, you'll be able to just jump out like Monk just did. Am I in the right corner here, right? Are you able uh, to shadow step to me? Oh, maybe. I didn't think about that. Uh, no, it says your target not in line of sight. Do you have a, um, you know, do you have a dragon, like the, the mount where I can jump on top of it? Ooh, that, oh, yeah, I remember. That might work. That with other people. Um, let's see. That might it's work out pretty Sandstone good. Sandstone Drake. Here we go. I should be able to just hop on. Um, there we go. Boom. Right, right. on. And you All didn't right. get the achievement, so make sure that you don't jump when you go oh. down. You just, you Are know, we... simply walk and then you okay. should be good. Ooh, okay. Nice. Awesome. All right. Now, I'm going to let Monk lead the way here in this video, so you go ahead and Show us how to get up on top of Dark Mouse Citadel, all right? Take it over, my friend. All right. So, let's see. Let's get on to the Sandstone Drake. Now, if so, I... Sorry, if I may ask so you uh, real quick, is um, what made you get into Dark... Uh, you know, Exile's Reach, and what made you want to explore it so heavily? Well, there was a video. Uh -huh. I forget who made it but there's this guy that came up that found a way to actually get to this high elvish island and and i discovered later on that was actually like an asset from legion and when i discovered that that was actually pretty cool and that kind of interest that kind of interested me and i just felt like i wanted to do a bit more of ob exploration and just found like it was a lot of fun and yeah, it was just it was just a lot of fun just being able to explore and see what I could do to break the game and Awesome. Yeah, I just here I am today, getting to level eighty. I'm actually max level on Utility Monk himself. Just got that today. Cool, awesome. Yeah, it, for all you viewers listening, if you don't know, Monk here has leveled up pan, Panda Monk all the way up to level eighty, just being in an Exiles Reach. Like so that's pretty huge accomplishment. I mean, that takes a lot of time and dedication. So, um, yeah, there's 
Sorry to cut there's you off. So trick- go ahead. <laughs> oh, that, that's okay. Um, there's actually a method where you're able to access outdoor content on Exile's Reach. Um, I, I wouldn't be able to share at the moment because it's it, it's actually a bit of it, it'd be something that Blizzard would just patch right away, you know. For sure, for sure. Yeah, you definitely want to keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so I'll just keep that on my channel sometime soon. I, I might even just... Um, I'll do s- something to be able to keep it secret or something like that. I don't know. But um, I-, I was able to access all the outdoor content, so I I was able to go through... What's it? BFA Dungeons, and this was at the time that I was playing Dragonflight, and Dragonflight was in BFA mm, currently. Okay. Y- y- you were supposed to do a BFA storyline, you know? Yeah. So I-, I did that, and then I got to level 60, and the issue was I couldn't do Dragonflight dungeons unless if I got any, unless if I got geared up. And that, that was a bit of an issue for me. So... Um, what I did was that I was able to use the the feature of mail. I, I was able to use the mailing feature, like the keys stamp whistle thing. Mm, okay. And and I was able to mail other uh, other pieces of gear from characters, like you know, uh, just like an ally race, and buy them off the auction house, and I was able to get. Um, I was eligible for Dragonflight Dungeons, and that's how I got to level 70. Awesome, okay. Cool, cool, man. That's an awesome... I mean, that's that's a lot of dedication. Uh, <laughs> a lot of dedication, so it's cool to have, like, a starter zone specialist here on the... working with another OOB person, so it's really neat to see. I know I couldn't spend that much time here, so I definitely give you a lot of credit for what you do. Mm-hmm. I'll be... I'll see what I can do to post more videos and just, you know, share some of the, all the ideas and tips, tricks, and that kind of stuff that I have now that I've actually leveled to 80, you know? Definitely. And if you guys haven't yet, definitely go check out Monk's channel. I will put a uh, link to his channel in the description of the video when I upload it. Um, You know, help him out, give him a sub. I know he posts some really cool content on Exile Reach and other OOB content, so. Mm-hmm. I actually have a series, so if you guys want to watch it, feel free to check it out. Definitely. So, all right, so here's where the OOB okay. part comes in. And so you'll have to get to this place right here where you just, like, hook shot into the middle somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. So you just have to get into like this little pocket. Okay. That'll be the first step. I see it I does think. take a minute. I mean, I haven't done this t- trick in a while because I have already explored. There everything. we go. You already did it. So it looks like right here. Nice job. Yeah, so let me catch up. And then. I'm assuming just keep climbing. Boom. The so shot. I'm right there. So if you bring your camera up to this place right here. Okay. Just bring it up there. And then you just keep jumping. And once you get grappling. N- n- no, not like walk and jump up. But it's like you just jump while you're trying to cast grappling hook. And at one point, you'll be able to get get all the way up. Ah, cool. Okay. So you see somewhere like right here, you know, you just have boom. Nice. Okay. So right in the little pocket there. there. Okay. So then we just have to wait and see if we can get all the way up to here. So we'll just have to wait another 30 seconds. Okay. And then there's just one more spot that you have to hook in afterwards and then you're all done. Awesome. Then you get to the very top. Ah, okay, so not not too bad. It's actually very easy 
OB if you do it right. Awesome. Um, Ooh, well, thanks for showing me. This is really showing everybody else. This is awesome. Never knew you could see. get on top of Exile Reach like this. And, and you see over here, this is where part, part of Stormheim is. And yeah. if you... I, I think you did a video on this before, and there was also this kind of location over here, right? Yes. Yeah, a couple of locations in the back here. Um, mm -hmm. And actually so on the other islands you, as well. Yeah, so when you get to the very top, as you keep progressing up, you're actually able to see some of the Stormheim structures okay. from, from some uh, other places. So it's actually very cool. All right. So I think you just actually come... Okay, where was it? I think it might be... I believe you have to get through... You have to go through this area and... Oh, and then just keep yeah. going up? Okay. Yeah, I actually do remember. You do have to grapple hook. Okay. At one point, and it will just allow you to be able to get to the... To, to some sort of area where it's actually solid ground. You can just, like, I think, barely And then stand. you'll be able to get to the very top. Okay. Awesome. So let's see if we can keep making our way here. Ooh, this might... Alright, so this might take a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, I haven't done this in, like, a month or two. Like, I've been doing some other things on other characters. And also, I've just been focusing on leveling. For sure. And we'll... We'll make you guys all watch this. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll speed up and edit this part of the video. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. So if you get to this location over here. So right over here. Okay. Thought this might take a little longer. Ah, perfect. Boom! There we go. And then just jump just straight up. To, we have to don't, wait. Don't don't walk at all. Okay. But just wait till the grappling hook recharges, and then you should be able to hook your way up, and then you're finished. Awesome. And you just keep walking up the mountain, right? Yep, and you can keep walking up the mountain and explore all you want. Awesome. Cool. All right. Yeah, so there's like a few places that you can actually explore. Fun. Do all that kind of cool stuff. This is great. Okay. Well, that's cool. That actually went by quicker than we thought it was going to take. So good. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's no toys needed at all. It's just all <laughs> hooking and getting to level 16. I love seeing all the storm high assets out here. It's pretty awesome. So you can actually get up this way just for like a short amount of time. And at one point, I don't think it allows you to get any further up because I think this is actually the peak. Yeah, it is. So you do get a great view of Exile's Reach up here, so you can hook shot up, and you can get some good views. Yeah, this is amazing, seeing everything from the backside. Yeah. So this is like the one of the higher points, but it's not where Dark Maul Citadel is, because as you can see, it's actually blocked. Mm. So there's actually another way to get to get over there you like um fly all the way down but i'll show you once we finish some exploring okay so if you want we can explore for a little bit yeah let's you know, go for it cool this is stuff. this is your territory man lead the way <laughs> i'll follow you <laughs> so there's actually something really funny where there's um there's like a stormheim tent or something like that well, like a part of Stormheim that's actually on, like, it's flipped over, but it's just still there. You know, um, oh, it's right here. So, like, part of Stormheim is actually, like, pocketed into these holes, and then if you just get stuck, you know, you just have to leave the group. This is where, this is what it is. Oh, huh. It's amazing. <laughs> 
like completely just in the ground. Huh. Yep. I <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend walking any further. Yeah, that would be suck to get stuck down there. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to either kill yourself getting out or just completely well, you just, you, grapple you hook just out, I guess. The, you just leave the group and then you just get back in and that's how you do it. Yeah, oh or, yeah, that's true. Technically we're still on or, the Or instance. you could just do a support ticket and fun fact, that actually takes you back to the boat. Oh, does it? <laughs> or boat, I think. Oh, uh, okay. So this is where you're able to just get a good view of Exile's Reach. You know, you get to see some waterfalls. It's actually a very beautiful sight. Uh, sell real quick. Gosh, I got so much stuff mm. in my inventory. There we go. It's annoying the crap out of me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. So you actually get to wow. see like, a few good views. Really good and views. And I discovered a way where you can actually get up here. Only up to this certain point through the harpy roofs in the, in the dungeon. But otherwise you just can't get all the way up here. So that's why I didn't um, say that this area would be the way to get up to the very top. Hmm. So at least you get part of the OB over here, but otherwise, um, I just see. you're just Let's you're see. just limited to a certain spot. Um, so you can see that part of Stormheim is over there, and what else? I think there's really much else to see, but if you want. We can go to Dark Mall Citadel. You want to get to the very top? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. So there's actually a very particular spot that you have to go to. I'll just give you a few more potions in case we, in case one of us falls down somehow. Thank you. And then what we'll do is that we'll just get to one spot up here. Okay. And you're able to fall all. You're able to use a slow fall potion and go all the way down to the citadel. So this point right here is the perfect one. This is the prime spot, and the spot that you want to be is right here. That okay. that's where your landing point will be. So you'll just like run. You you'll just run on your mount, and then you just fly all the way down you can get good view of exiles reach that way ah okay awesome let's go for all it right, so um all right <laughs> you want to lead the way <laughs> maybe show me how to do um, it so do you jump off and then pop your slow fall potion or do you pop it first you, you just pop the you just run off and then you just do the slow fall potion and that's how you get safely down okay i'm sure the glider right. would work too right Hmm? I'm sure the goblin glider might work as well. It, it doesn't work in this dungeon. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you're right. They disable it in dungeons. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. forgot However, about that. it does work on the actual island itself. Yeah, so I forgot that's about a that. Good bonus. Good, uh, good mention. I, I totally forgot. All right, cool. Well, let's do it. We're right. we gonna get over there. Three, two, one, go. Ah, this is awesome. Okay, so we just want to shoot towards the ledge there. Okay. Mm hmm But if you just... In case you have to... Like... If you Grapple have to hook, hook shot, then okay. you just... And we're actually down. Nice. Sweet. Okay, we got on top. Oh, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. So technically, we're actually at... What you would consider the top of Dark Maul Citadel, and then yeah. the mountain would just be the top of Exile's Reach. Okay. And there's this one point where you're able to get to this area up here. Oh, that you're never supposed to see. And, and I, I tried using a pillow here, and I actually clipped, clipped out and actually fell down to the very start of the dungeon. Oh, no. 
So oh, okay, I think maybe you have oh. to use something else, maybe like a dark moon seesaw somewhere right here. Oh, so this is this actually something solid else? over here? Can you walk inside there, or you'll just fall through? You, you actually can't get inside because it's actually like a invisible border. And remember, we're actually in we're actually in the star tutorial, so we can't use any toys. Yeah, but that there's sucks. actually a way that I discovered where where if you use one of the toys, you can get in. You can actually get into dungeon into the dungeon. Whether you are, um, whether you broke out starter experience or not. Mm, okay. Awesome. Uh, can you get on the walkway over there? You're, you're saying over there? Yeah, you see that, um, the bridge or whatever. Can you get on top of the bridge, or is that also not accessible? Yeah, you can't. You can't access that at all. Ah, uh, that would be cool to go inside as well. Yeah, and there's actually something really interesting. So if you get over here so if we come back over to the very top there's something called like a doodad or something at with the dark mall said outdoor on the right oh like over it just here. has like an object object name is like doodad yep. or whatever <laughs> yep so there's it, it reminded me of a place that i went to in classic for like a bit of o oob exploration Mm. And there's this hidden place that was that's in Karazan Crypts called Crypt. Yeah. And there's a bunch of doodad doors that just open to you. <laughs> and it's honestly pretty pretty creepy, but also a very cool thing to discover. So now when I just look at this door, it just reminds me of that and I just feel like it's really cool exploration because you don't really get to see those kinds of names often no you don't <laughs> and i think developers do that uh just the name stuff just to remember it or yeah it's mm -hmm. really neat to see Ooh. if you actually go into the actual island you actually have that same doodad door name mm. on there too but you know you just still can't access it yeah so that that's really all that's it for the OOB, but but uh, if you wanted to get to the very top of Exile's Reach, but of course there's also the rest of the island that to to explore. So if you want, you can feel free to explore. You know. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you, Monk, for showing this. You're welcome. Hopefully, uh, hopefully one day maybe you can break into that room there. <laughs> Get on the bridge and everything, and, you know. Yeah, I actually create a fresh character. Got on, oh, I got onto a rogue and leveled him to sixteen, and also broke out of the starter experience. You know, like I got into Azeroth. Yeah. But there's actually, apparently, if you do it right, there's actually a way where you can, if you don't trigger the system and it automatically. If it ports you, then well, there's this. Let me explain this again. But there's this wind fragment okay. from the from the Mergor Master that allows you to actually escape into the Dragonflight Zone, the Narn Plains, and you. It it's, it only works if you actually break. If you actually break out star experience, so you're able to get into Dragonflight, get into Orgrimmar, and that's. How. And then I went to the Dark Moon Fair to get the Dark Moon Cannon. You know that toy. Yeah, I need to get that still. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I actually got on the last day of the Dark Moon Fair. Okay. And and I was able to arc back to Exile's Reach. So if you don't trigger the system and. And it kicks you out of Exile's Reach, then you're actually able to hearth back, and it and it teleports you to some place over over where you know, like where the North Sea is. Yeah. And that's and you actually have to come come back to the mainland. You can actually access Exile's Reach still. Ah, okay. That's a little bit of trickery. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit of trickery and <laughs> doing all these magical tricks for the game. Yeah, this is awesome. Well, thanks for showing us, man. This is amazing. Um, I hope that all the viewers at home enjoyed this video and come try it out yourself. This is a lot of fun. If you haven't yet, definitely support Monk's channel. Um, like again, I'll put his um, video uh, YouTube channel in the description and uh, you know, definitely come stop by and say hi. Monk's always hanging out in the ATN Discord. He's been a big contributor in there. So thanks for being a big contributor in there as well, Monk. Appreciate it. Anytime. So, I hope right. you guys enjoyed the OB exploration. Yeah. I think it's definitely something worth checking out. Definitely. definitely. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Monk. Well, everyone, uh, as always, my name is Nathan. I'm here with Utility Monk. And uh, I will catch you on the next video. Take care.